The win by Hilton Head Prep, 32 to 10 over Hilton Head Christian in the Cross Island Bowl. A game uh, that, that kind of got off to a rocky start. Uh, there were fumbles and penalties and uh, injuries and all that bad stuff and turned out to be a pretty good football game. Yeah, it did turn out to be a pretty good football game. And you know, it's, it, we had that feel at the very beginning that it's just something in the air. You know, was it Halloween? <laughs> was it me? Could have been, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, the, the, the big thing from the start was that punt uh, down into the coffin corner. That's just amazing that, uh, that it happens. It's even more amazing that at the high school level, especially uh, here on Hilton Head, yeah. that we're able to see something like that that you'll probably never see in, in our lifetimes again. Could a punt be the play of the game? A first quarter punt. It pinned Hilton Head Christian back inside their own one. They then fumbled it in the end zone, fell on it for a safety. It was 2 nothing prep, and it was all prep after that. Uh, they led 11-3 to at the halftime. Then a couple of uh, great touchdown passes from Tyler Fox to uh, Zanon Parker in the second half blew it open, and uh, Hilton Head Prep goes on to win 32-10. to Yeah, you know, I, uh, I felt bad for uh, uh, Tyler Fox. You could tell really from the opening kickoff that he was not feeling uh, he wanted to be here physically. Mentally, yep. obviously oh, he wants yep, to be yep, here. Yep. But uh, the young man's ankle uh, was just not up to par. Uh, the snap between center and quarterback, which I counted six yep. miscues. That led to some problems, but they were able to overcome. Right. His ankle hurt the entire ball game, and even coming into the game, Noah Sulik's ankle uh, got injured in the second quarter. He didn't play for uh, Hilton Head Christian. Uh, Cheese Edwards, their great 1,700-yard running back, yeah. played very little in the game. Uh, both teams now just try to get healthy because they've still got playoff games to, to play. There is still football to be had on Hilton Head Island, both teams with home games coming up uh, this coming week. Right. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be huge for both of them if they're both healthy. I think these two teams can go on a little bit of a roll because they certainly were at the end of the season. Yeah, I think uh, Skisa, Skisa knows you know who they both are. The Skisa opponents are very well aware. This isn't sneaking up on anybody, uh, but I think that you're exactly right. Once they get healthy here very shortly, let, let this weekend go by. Mm -hmm. These young kids, they're resilient. They're tough. Um, they'll be fine. Next Friday, Hilton Head uh, Prep will be playing over at uh, Hilton Head High School under the lights. Mm -hmm. Hilton Head Christian will be at home. Uh, they'll be ready. They'll oh, be yeah. ready. Absolutely. Hilton Head Christian finishes the season at 7-3. and three. Hilton Head Prep finishes at 8-2. and two. But that's just the regular season. The fun stuff is still to come. Big Cross Island Bowl win for Hilton Head Prep. First time in six years they've beaten Christian Academy. For Mike Covert, I'm Bob Stevens with the Rick and Bar Wrap-Up.